I'm Johnny Hansen, snow leopard conservationist and former community farmer. Through my scholarship, I've been exploring the contentious topic of potential large carnivore range reductions to Britain and Ireland, and whether we could find ways for livestock farming to coexist once more with lynx, wolves and bears in these islands. I explored the suite of five different types of tools used to manage and govern coexistence in Switzerland, the Netherlands and the USA. The return of wolves to Switzerland has resulted in considerable conflict between stakeholders since 2019. The provision and training costs for deterrence methods, mainly electric fencing, livestock guardian dogs and expanded shepherding practices have been provided by the Swiss government. In 2020-21, of the 4 million Swiss francs spent on carnival coexistence, three were spent on funding mitigation measures and advice. Wolves have also returned to parts of the Netherlands over the last decade. A financial scheme to compensate farmers for livestock losses to the species involved an element of co-design between stakeholders, but financial pressures limited the amount of money available. In 2021, 46,000 euros was paid in compensation for wolf-related losses in the country, although this has increased as the wolf population has expanded. In Wyoming, at the Sim Sheep Company, coyotes are shot and trapped and eagles translocated to minimise losses at lambing. Spatial zoning is also used to regulate lethal control of wolves across the state, and Wyoming Game and Fish Department's large carnivore team are permanently on call to respond to incidents involving large carnivores, people and livestock. In Montana, five cattle ranches in the Tom Minor Basin cooperate on enterprise approaches to coexistence. These include education signs and talks for tourists at a popular bear viewing area, as well as holiday rentals. Nearby, 13 Mile Lamb and Wolf Company previously pioneered predator-friendly certification for their wool, charging consumers with an interest in coexistence premium for their products. In Colorado, citizens narrowly voted in favour of reintroducing wolves to the state by the end of 2023. Colorado Parks and Wildlife was tasked with implementing and consulting on this project. Colorado State University was also involved in researching the process and planning for effective project governance, including the creation of a wolf conflict reduction group. Together these five tools provide the means for livestock farming to coexist with carnivores, though they are not without their challenges. In Britain and Ireland, their use as part of potential large carnivore reintroductions, as with the proposals themselves, are likely to be complex, contested and costly.